So today's a really exciting day because this afternoon I'm going to go and collect four more Rescue X battery hens. And I know I hark on about how rewarding it is, but it, it so is. And what I thought I'd do today is actually take you on the journey of getting ready and going to fetch them and bringing them home. So I've already started getting things ready. Here you can see I've got two carriers um, and I've put some shavings in the bottom. Let's just open this one so I can show you. So I just put some shavings in just so they've got something comfortable to sit on on their way home. Because bearing in mind these ladies have come from horrific conditions. They've not been handled. They haven't seen the sights. So I just want a nice comfortable journey for them home. And I'll put, I'm having four, so there'll be two chickens in each basket. Um, I've got this little waterer here. Um, in here I've got some more shavings because they're going to go into the little um, A-frame, which is where they're going to start out. And then just a couple of tubs. Um, normally I feed from a feeder, but these girls won't be used to um, eating from a feeder. And I will start them off on a crumb rather than a pellet because it's just easier for them to eat. We, I can make that into a mash by soaking it for the first couple of days. Um, then progress onto it dry and then eventually get them onto um, some pellets and then the mixture that I normally use, which is um, layers pellets and uh, mixed corn and various other bits and bobs in there. But initially, I need to take it easy and steady for them and just acclimatise them. So here inside the A-frame, I've put some bedding down for them, some shavings. Um, it is a small area. You can see they can go from front to back through that little pop hole. Um, and I do have a little uh, board to close that up with at night when they're tucked up in bed. And then there's just a little bit of room in the front there. It is a relatively small space, but initially it's just to get them acclimatised, let the others see them through the edge, but without actually being able to get to each other. Because when you introduce new chickens and um, there can be some fighting and bullying and these girls will be quite weak and um, they won't really be able to fend for themselves at this stage <laughs> somebody's coming to explore this is not for you my lovely not for you my lovely go on off you go the other way So that's just a couple of our Old English game. And down here is Cheeky Cheeky, Gertrude. <laughs> so she's just checking things out. So Gertrude is an ex-battery and you can see how she's flourishing and how wonderful she looks. And we've had her for a couple of years now. And we've got her and Big Red. They're the remainders of our ex-bats at the moment. And then, as I say, we've got these Old English game. There's a few more around and about somewhere enjoying the sunshine. So I'm looking forward to welcoming four more into the flock. So we're all set. I've got the baskets in the car ready and I'm heading out to go and collect the new hens. So I've arrived and I'm just in the queue. Um, there's a few cars ahead of me. Um, so I'll just uh, spin the camera around and I'll show you. I'm really excited. Um, I will also probably get quite emotional because it always upsets me to think of the, the life that these poor chickens have had up until this big day and they've still got no idea of the future that's ahead of them. So I think it's time to move forward. So I can actually see the hens now in that enclosure and they've no idea. I've no idea which ones are going to be picked and they've got no idea that they're coming home with me. I'm feeling quite emotional. So there they are, safely loaded in. So I've picked the girls up, um, there's four of them there in the baskets, and they're not in too bad nick actually, um, so I'm not going to hang around, I want to get them home. So here they are, you can see they've actually got a decent amount of feathers on them, which is good, although there are feathers missing, but can you see how big and pale and flopped over their combs are? 
and that's quite an indicator that they've not had the best of lives and they've not seen a lot of sunlight so I'm not going to hang around because it's quite an ordeal for them um, as I say I always feel very very emotional they've had such an awful time and at the moment they've no idea what's going on but in a few days time they will be starting to realize that their life has changed forever So I've already got this set up, I've put the water now in and some mash and as I showed you earlier there's the shavings ready in the back there and the other hens are now closed into the bottom of their hen house um, and that's the way things will stay for the next sort of seven to ten days and the reason that I do that is I do need to be really careful introducing any new birds to the flock in case there's any um, disease or, or illness that they could potentially give to the birds we already have and also these birds are very fit and healthy the ones I have now and um, they might be carrying something that they're coping with but the new girls coming in are going to be very poor very stressed and very susceptible to picking up any illnesses so it's just best to keep them all separate for about seven to ten days so I'm really excited, let's get these new chickens into their new home which they'll stay in as I say for a short period of time before I start letting them out and letting them free range and then gradually introducing them to these girls. So here they are. One of them is looking poorer than the rest but they're not too bad apart from being very pale, a little bit nervous. They're already tucking into their mash and it's just absolutely beautiful to have them here. It always really really makes me feel so emotional thinking you know they've just had such a terrible life and now they get some freedom. So they're here and they're home and they're safe. Thank you so much for watching. If any of you are considering taking on any chickens that you've never had before, or even if you've got chickens already, please, please do consider taking on these ex-batteries. It's so rewarding and it makes such a difference to their lives. You know, these birds, otherwise, today would have been the end for them. They would have gone to slaughter. But rather than that, all these people, like myself, you know, have made that journey, brought them home, and we're gonna show them the love and the care and the attention that they really, really deserve. So I think I've already mentioned it earlier, but if I haven't, I will drop a link below to the British Hen Welfare Trust. Um, even if you can't take hens at the moment, you could also consider donating. Um, but if you're thinking of having some hens, this is just so rewarding. And I'm enjoying showing you their progression.
So thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all again soon.